What is going on guys, it's your boy Dexter here, and today I bring you what I, as well as my team, speculates to be the first six skulls within Ghosts and Skulls 2. So I'm sure you all have noticed the three random murals located within the spawn if you've been hunting for the infamous Ghosts and Skulls 2 with a list of children and names. If I told you guys the first six steps to Ghosts and Skulls were within this mural, and as a community, we need to come together and form some ideas. My team and I have been speculating ideas back and forth for the past couple of days and huge props goes to my hand Michael on Twitter for bringing this to my attention as well as speculating the majority of the information we have. So I'm sure you all basically know that I have been in contact with the two separate groups that have gotten the first skull and their links will be in the description guys if you guys want to just go check them out real quick huge shout out to them and I can guarantee you these guys are not lying based on their stories lining up perfectly as well as this mural backs them up and the way they act and their dedication to this hunt. So let's start off explaining the bottom five. As you can see there are five characters and we're going to start from left to right. So I'm pretty certain most of you could probably tell this apart. We have four girls and one boy. The furthest left is Sally, to the right is Andre, then AJ, Point Dexter, and as you can tell Kevin with the free spirit is the furthest to the right. The throw in is that there's five stars also, which I would assume honestly to be the five stars of Raven the Redwoods. So now onto a little bit more of a controversial topic and where I want you all to put your opinions and thoughts in the comments section below. If you count the top row, you can easily point out six separate icons, and this is most likely relating to the Ghosts and Skulls 2.0 Easter egg. I believe, but also want to know what you guys think. Starting from the top left, you can identify little things about the characters and the mural. First off, he's blue, he doesn't seem to be anything like the other zombies, and his arms are spread. If you guys look at the teeth in his mouth, it seems to be more detailed than the rest of him, as are the other Sasquatch's mounts. His stance is arms and legs spread which is also what the other Sasquatches do whenever they are about to throw a skull. Also, you can point out the three straight hairs on the top of his head and this could mean he isn't human. He doesn't seem well maintained just like I would imagine Sasquatches wouldn't be. I managed to get into god mode and run every single yeti around for an hour and have them throw skulls everywhere and haven't been able to get a trigger using that method. But we have been able to change the color of their eyes and you guys can check out Daily Gamer Nick's video that is in the description which helps prove our theory on the top left icon being a yeti. Another theory we had with him was that it appears that he is dancing and he could also be going down a zipline but I'm still more stuck on the Sasquatch than I am the dancing or the zipline honestly. This is all just speculation guys. I need your guys' comments in the description to help us speculate more and get this solved. Moving on from that you have an image of a rainbow which our first thought was rave mode which would make complete sense. That would mean that we would have to find some skulls or ghosts around the map and essentially have a so-called bad trip and shoot and look at these just like when we spelled ghost within Ghosts and Skulls 1 for the second step. Moving on to the third icon, you can tell that this guy is a little bit bigger than all the other zombies or sasquatches. What I believe him to be is I believe that he is the slasher and he has to do something, say he has to slash the machine or something. That's just a little speculation guys. Maybe he has to throw a grenade at something. I don't know. This is why I need your guys' help so we can get this solved and we can get this mural out of the way and know exactly what it means. On to the fourth guy, we are still speculating with him and open to any suggestions, but if you just take a quick glance at him, he's frowning, green, and we have the frowning faces around the map that I believe green also indicates rave mode, so maybe we have to do something with the frowning faces in rave mode. On to the fifth guy, as you can see he's green with a smiley face, also take notice of white dots on his feet. It's the only thing I can tie to 1992 on the machine in rave mode as I believe we're going to have to do something with the 1992 in and out of rave mode. So the fifth guy I believe is going to be kills maybe near some certain colored smiley faces in rave mode perhaps but I'm almost certain the fifth step is in rave mode with the 1992 as you can see the one is green, the nine is yellow, another nine is orange, and then the last one is red, the last two. Another thing to add on to the fifth step is that this is obviously a female zombie and in colorblind assist mode the eyes are pink for female zombies and yellow for male zombies. I'm not exactly sure why this is, being that they are the same whenever you were out of colorblind assist when you would think they would just continue using the same texture but they didn't obviously and then also in the mural you have the pink eyes for the female zombie so I'm not sure if that's anything or not but it could be. This is all just speculation guys. On to the last guy, we're kind of stuck with him, but you can see that he is yellow with the white dots as well, and I believe this could be correlating to the machine out of raid mode, where you can see the different colors on the machine, which is one is yellowish green, 
nine is yellow, the other nine is yellow, and the two is red, so maybe there's more to that as well. So yesterday I pulled in one of my old buddies that I went to school with, and he doesn't really play much zombies, but I'm going to put his link in the description. Basically, he noticed the names, and we didn't really think the names were anything up until he came into the game, but we were still speculating on that as well. So we have the eight names that are just to the right of the mural we've been talking about, and then outside of Spawn, right there next to Up and Adams, you also have eight different characters, and then the fourth one has a cat face on it, which is something we've also been working with because like Cashier Cats and Alice in Wonderland and stuff like that, but Mike is the fourth one, so we're kind of wondering if Mike has any coordination with the cats, so... Another thing backing this up is there's three murals around the map that are just these, and they're only in spawn, as well as there's one literally directly behind Ghosts and Skulls if you look through the window from Tough Enough. Also, you have the one that's right there before you walk into the Ghosts and Skulls room, so I don't know, and then we have the one that gives us the clear image, which is right there in Tough Enough as well. So that wraps up most of this guys, but definitely make sure you guys go check out Big Papa, Slight Days, Daily Gamer Nick, My Hand Michael, Dove Dow, and Psycho Giggly. Their links will be in the description as well as for some dope ass multiplayer content. Check out my boy, the one, the only, Rocky BMC on YouTube, and all of their links will be in the description as well. There's no way I could have ever solved this on my own guys, so huge shout out to those guys for sticking through and working as a team to solve this guys. We are so close and I can feel it. Also, join my zombies community at Infinite Warfare Zombies, Easter Egg Hunters, and follow me on Twitter where I respond to almost every tweet. It's the easiest way to get a hold of me, at Dexter, guys. D-E-X-T-Z-E-R-R -R with an extra R. Make sure you guys also drop a like and subscribe if you're new for all the latest information and constant zombie live streams and challenges. But for now, guys, I've been your boy Dexter, and I'm out, guys. Peace.